Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we're going to be talking about an action fantasy film called Attack on Titan Part 2. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Previously on Attack on Titan, humanity is put into danger when a colossal titan breaks the wall that separates human society from the giant monsters that appeared a hundred years ago. Many people died as the creatures devour everyone they come close to, and humans are forced to hide behind the inner walls abandoning their homes. The government tried to fix the wall by using explosions, but their plan was sabotaged. In the last moment, the main character Eren was able to transform into a titan and save everyone from danger. It turns out that when Eren was a little boy, his father experimented with genetic engineering and injected him with a serum that's capable of turning a person into a titan. Captain Salda was also present and helped to hide Eren when the government came to purge the father's experiments. The soldiers led by Commander Kubo took away Eren's parents and killed them while the boy hides from within the walls. The commander burns the laboratory as the captain takes the boy away from danger. Eren wakes up from shock only to find himself tied up by the soldiers with guns pointing at him. The commander walks into the building and begins lecturing about his philosophy of communism. He explains how humanity united after discovering a common enemy, the Titans. Although resources became scarce, everyone is now happier because they're equal. But Eren's ability to transform into a Titan threatens this peaceful existence. The main character tries desperately to express that he's human, but the commander refuses to allow him to live. Just when Eren is about to be shot, Armin rushes out and defends his friend, claiming that it was Eren who saved everyone from the Titans. He assures the commander that his friend will be a valuable asset to humanity, as he can defend the city against the Titans. Captain Hange also disagrees to killing Eren, but only because she desires to experiment on the boy instead. Armin continues to try and convince Kubo by telling him that there's a disabled missile near the outer city, and with Eren's help, they can surely fix the wall successfully. The boy's attempt to persuade the commander only makes the situation worse, as Kubo accuses Armin for being responsible for sabotaging the previous mission and destroying the explosives. The commander orders the soldiers to shoot, while Eren continues to beg everyone to give him a chance in realizing his purpose and helping the people inside the city. Seeing her friends about to get killed, Mikasa finally decides to fight for their lives, but the commander questions why she's defending a monster. With no other choice, Salda yells to stop everyone and proceeds to explain Eren's powers. Apparently, he's able to control himself while being a titan, but his consciousness fades as time goes on. Before the man can explain further, a shot fires and knocks him to the ground. Salda tries to speak with his dying breath, but fails and passes away. Suddenly, a giant titan falls from the ceiling, crushing Commander Kubo and the soldiers nearby. The people shoot at the monster, but their attacks bounce off the skin which seems to be made out of armor. The giant kills the soldiers easily with a single sweep, and takes Eren into his hands. They try to attack the neck of the titan, but he blocks it with his hand, showing signs of consciousness. The titan turns towards the scouts, and Mikasa prepares to defend her comrades. Strangely, the creature looks at her and stops attacking, sparing their lives. The giant then begins climbing out of the building, taking Eren with him as well. After Armin buries the dead, Captain Hunch takes command and decides to continue with the plan of restoring the wall. They must first retrieve the bomb that Armin talked about, then head towards the outer walls. Mikasa hesitates about going back to her home, but decides that she must protect her comrades. At the same time, Eren wakes up in a white room, hearing music that's from over a hundred years ago. He turns around, only to see a jukebox playing a disc record and examines it with curiosity. The music stops and he hears a man's voice, who turns out to be Captain Shikishima. The man explains that he saved Eren from the Titan, but failed to kill the monster as he managed to escape. The captain proceeds to show Eren footages from a century ago, which explains the origins of the Titans. Apparently, humans wanted to make super soldier weapons by genetic engineering and created the giants that are now known as Titans. However, they lost control of the virus and it started spreading inside the population, where people are randomly turning into titans and destroying human society. Not knowing who's going to turn next, humans fought against each other in mistrust which ultimately led to self-destruction. Somehow, a group of people never turned into titans, and they hid themselves inside these walls. Eventually, a governing system was formed which slowly turned into the society of today. The white rooms they're in right now are built by the government in order to monitor the people, making sure they forget about humanity's past so that they're easier to control. 
The captain claims that the attack on the walls were planned by the government to instill fear onto the people, as they're beginning to question what lies beyond. Nonetheless, the captain sees hope in Eren as he's able to retain consciousness after transforming into a titan. He believes that together, they can stop the government from subjugating the people into slavery. The two goes outside, and the captain shows Eren his followers, and a large portion of the explosives that he stole from the commander. He also demonstrates the weapons from before the Titan Wars, which are ineffective against the giants, but used to kill people instead. Shikishima gives Eren the grapplers, and tells the boy that he's in control of his own destiny from now on. Meanwhile, the scouts manage to extract the missile from the ground, and plans their course towards the hole on the wall before any Titan can notice them. Mikasa stares in the distance, reminiscing about the happier times when she was still with Eren. The group drives towards the city, but Armin stops quickly when he sees an armored vehicle in front of their truck. A bunch of soldiers come out and point their guns at the group, while Eren gets out of the car and reunites with his friends. He apologizes to Mikasa for making her worry, while the girl is clearly happy to see her friend alive. Shikishima jumps out of the vehicle and proceeds to examine the bomb that the group retrieved. Captain Hunch is exhilarated to see the soldiers' weapons and jumps into the tank to examine the machineries from before the Titan Wars. Shikishima claims ownership of the missile at gunpoint and explains his plan to overthrow the government by destroying the inner walls. The Titans will rush into the city and kill the government officials, crumbling the current rulership permanently. Eren is stunned by the captain's plan as he thought they were going to use the explosives to fix the wall. He questions about the lives of the citizens living inside the city, but Shikishima thinks that their demise is deserving, as they're guilty of allowing such tyranny to exist in the first place. The captain tells Eren to abandon his past and join the cause, but the boy begins remembering all the death and suffering that occurred because of the Titans. He screams in agony and tells the captain that he refuses to forget his past. The main character charges at Shikishima, but gets thrown to the floor immediately. Eren gets up and tries attacking the captain again, but the man dodges all his attacks and quickly counters by striking him to the floor. He dares the boy to transform into a titan, while Eren continues to charge at the captain furiously. The boy's attacks are useless as he fails to land a single punch and proceeds to get knocked onto the ground. Mikasa wants the captain to stop hitting her friend, but Shikishima laughs and takes this opportunity to demoralize Eren by forcing a kiss upon the girl. She slaps the man on the face, but only gets kicked to the floor. This infuriates Eren as he charges blindly at the captain and proceeds to become the world's most durable punching bag. Armin tries to devise a plan to help his friend as he looks towards the shaky building with his teammate Sanagi. Before Shikishima can finish Eren by his own sword, Armin yells at the man to stop and threatens to blow up everyone by triggering the bomb. He tells his teammate to retrieve Eren and bring him to the truck. But the captain doesn't believe Armin's threat and calls the bluff by telling his man to fire. Suddenly, a grappling hook shoots past the man's face and hits the shaky building, while Sanagi jumps forward and begins pulling the structure down. He yells for Armin to leave and continues to pull with all his might. The captain's man shoots at Sanagi, but he keeps on pulling and manages to topple the building right on top of the bomb as Armin takes this opportunity to escape. A huge explosion results that nearly consumes their vehicle, but the group manages to get away just in time. They look at the explosion and mourns their friend's death, but Shikishima suddenly appears as he somehow survived as well. He proceeds to climb onto the vehicle and declares that he'll be taking the missile. The captain takes out his sword and to everyone's shock, stabs himself right through the heart. Bones begin appearing behind his back and a transformation occurs while the group drives away quickly. Shikishima begins transforming into a titan as body parts begin forming onto the monster. Armin looks at the giant in shock and realizes that the captain was the monster responsible for taking away his friend and killing the commander. Eren plans to stab himself and transform into a titan as well, but Jean stops him as they don't know if this will work for the main character. He tells Eren that unlike Shikishima, he's not alone and by working together, they will defeat the monster. The armored titan walks towards the group and proceeds to demonstrate his power by easily destroying two other giants at the same time. The team charges towards the titan as they try to distract him. Sasha takes this opportunity and shoots an explosive arrow into the giant's eye, blinding him temporarily. Jin flies around the monster and attacks his weak spot between the armors, while Mikasa manages to cut off the titan's fingers. Eren flies around the monster's blind spot and cuts the hamstring, causing the titan to fall onto the ground. 
Jin sees this and flies towards the giant, trying to deal the last blow behind the neck. The titan turns around and proceeds to punch him as he flies closer, but Eren manages to kick his teammate out of the way and gets himself knocked into the buildings. The giant turns around and proceeds to head towards the missile, but before he can grab the explosive, he notices Eren transforming into the berserker titan after almost dying. The titans scream furiously and charges at each other. The two begins exchanging punches, but Eren soon becomes disadvantaged as every strike only damages himself due to his opponent's armor. The armored titan proceeds to dominate the fight and knocks Eren to the ground with a devastating kick to the head. Shikishima walks towards Eren, planning to finish the fight, but the berserker titan grabs the helicopter blade beside him and strikes down onto his enemy. The attack nearly cuts the armored titan in half, and Eren gathers all his might towards a finishing blow that sends the titan flying backwards into the buildings. Shikishima begins transforming back as Eren screams in victory. He walks towards his friends and begins to lift the bomb out of the truck. The berserker titan carries the bomb on his back and begins climbing the wall, while his teammates follow closely with their grappling hooks. They arrive at the junction and Eren tries putting the bomb into the building but quickly falls down as he exhausted all his energy and the transformation is beginning to render him unconscious. Mikasa sees this and rushes towards her friend. She cuts into the titan's back and tries to awaken Eren by reminding him his promise to bring her to see the oceans. The main character regains consciousness after recalling his memories and proceeds to jam the missile into the structure of the wall. At the same time, Captain Hanj manages to survive the explosion from earlier by being inside the armored vehicle. She surprised herself by her own luck and begins salvaging the rocket launchers beside her while another mysterious man follows her from behind. Mikasa manages to get Eren out of the Titan as Armin installs the timer on the explosive, setting it to blow up in 5 minutes. Just when the team is about to leave, they see Commander Kubo behind them on top of the wall as well. The man somehow survived the titan's attack and offers them money and royalty if they leave the wall as it is and hand over Eren to the government. The team refuses with anger, which prompts the commander to fire at them, wounding Armin in the process. The commander shouts that there is nothing outside but chaos and that the people needs the wall in order to be happy. Before the man can finish, he's shot with numerous arrows by Sasha and falls backwards off the wall. To everyone's surprise, the commander also begins transforming and turns into the colossal titan that destroyed the wall two years ago. The team charges towards the giant in order to avenge everyone that he killed, but finds it difficult to approach as the titan extrudes high temperatures. The giant monster tries to grab the missile and prevent the explosion while the timer continues to count down. Jin attacks the titan, trying to prevent it from destroying the bomb, but gets killed by a single strike from the monster. The giant turns towards Eren and tries to grab him, but gets hit by a large explosion that Captain Hunch fired from below. The colossal titan continues to reach for the bomb despite his injuries, which gives Eren the opportunity to land behind his back. He climbs closer to the commander, as the timer ticks down to the last second, but surprisingly, it did not explode. The titan was able to damage the detonator, and Mikasa rushes towards the bomb to try and fix it, but is clueless about what to do. Surprisingly, Shikishima survived the fight with Eren and appears behind the girl. He mocks their effort to repair the walls and throws Mikasa onto the ground. He's disappointed at humanity for choosing safety over freedom, as he realizes that they'll always try to fix the walls. Mikasa tries to convince the captain that he can still set humanity free if he destroys the tyrant that is oppressing the people. At the same time, Eren manages to approach the commander and cuts open the back of the titan's neck. However, the main character gets pulled away by the giant's massive hand before he can make the finishing blow. Just when the titan is about to kill Eren, the captain rushes onto the wall while holding the missile, which prompts the giant to drop the boy from his hand. Shikishima grabs the missile and shoves it right into the colossal titan's mouth, causing a huge explosion that destroys both of them. A chain reaction leads to a second explosion that breaks open the top of the wall and sends the concrete tumbling down as Eren tries desperately to escape the collapse. The boy falls downwards from the shockwave, but gets saved by Mikasa who refuses to let him go. The massive rocks lands in front of the entrance and blocks off the hole entirely. Eren and Mikasa escapes the fall and climbs onto the top of the wall. They're overjoyed when they're finally able to see the ocean in the far distance, and they're astonished by its beauty. However, they're unaware of the cameras that are secretly watching them from the back, and the robotic voice reveals that there are plans for the two of them in the future.
So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.